Hi guys, today I'm back again talking about vitamin D. Last week I told you about my blood test results where I found out that I was quite severely vitamin D deficient, which explains all my problems with my teeth and mood and energy levels and so many different things. Um, and a lot of you were really interested in it and I also got quite a few questions asking how is that possible that we get sun, like I get quite a lot of sun and I'm still vitamin D deficient. So I decided to make a video and explain to you why it's so difficult to get enough vitamin D even if we go outside and take walks and go to the beach occasionally. But most of us, actually I will bet that pretty much all of us are still vitamin D deficient. So let's get started. The first thing I really want to talk about is that we humans are built to spend long hours in the sun. I mean, if you look at any modern uh, hunter-gatherer societies or any kind of more primitive, primitive societies uh, where a lot of labor is based on work outside and, and the people hunt and, and gather things outside, they get a lot, of, a lot of hours of sun. And in fact, scientists check the blood levels of vitamin D in Maasai tribe in Africa, and they're still hunter-gatherers to these days. And their uh, vitamin D was, I think, around 56, definitely over 50. Um, so that pretty much shows what the ideal vitamin D level should be for people. And they spend the majority of the time outside. So obviously, if we're locked in the office or in the shops or at home most of the days, and then we go out just for an hour, probably not even every day, and definitely outside of the hours when you can make vitamin D, it's pretty impossible to make enough vitamin D. You see, vitamin D can only be produced between 10 a.m. and 2 p.m. And most of us don't really go out during those times because people work, people have siesta, they don't like the heat, especially if you live in a hot country like I do. So that's why when people follow the traditional guidelines, conventional guidelines of only going out into the sun from 4 p.m., they miss out. They don't make any vitamin D because you don't make vitamin D then. Um, so that's another huge problem, you know, we're stuck in the offices all day long, we avoid the sun when we can actually make vitamin D, we go out when it's safe, but it's not safe, it's not good enough to make vitamin D, um, so these are the two major problems. Another reason is obesity or any excess weight. Um, what the fat does is basically it attracts the vitamin D from your blood, so instead of going into the cells and being used, vitamin D gets trapped by the fat cells. So generally, uh, people with more weight need more vitamin D. Um, so that's another reason why a lot of people are vitamin D deficient these days. Now let's move on to another reason that a lot of us could suffer from as well, and that's digestive problems. So people with things like Crohn's disease, celiac disease, inflammatory bowel disease, and things like that, or even just simple malabsorption of fat, have a problem with vitamin D absorption because vitamin D is a fat soluble um, nutrient. So if you don't absorb the fat, if there's no fat in your body, then the, the vitamin will not be absorbed. I haven't seen any articles about that, but I have suspicion, a personal suspicion from my own experience that fructose malabsorption and lactose malabsorption would probably cause the same problems as well. Because once the digestive system gets irritated and it doesn't process things properly anymore, then everything will be affected and fat is definitely affected by fructose and lactose malabsorption as well so that's another thing to keep in mind i guess another reason is that the older you are the less efficient your skin is at making vitamin d from the sun and also the older you are the weaker your kidneys are and so the kidneys aren't able to um, to turn that vitamin d into usable form for the body so if you are over 50 you definitely need to check out and you definitely need to make sure your vitamin d levels are high enough because you are very very susceptible to vitamin d deficiency also some medications um, an example could be steroids which are generally used to treat inflammation also interfere with the body's ability to produce vitamin d and there aren't many tests there are many surveys about it so nobody really knows but i suspect that even innocent things like birth control pills could probably interfere i have no proof it's just an idea but is definitely worth checking your vitamin D levels if you are taking any kind of prescription drugs. People with darker skins also have more troubles with vitamin D 
um, and not just people who are naturally darker but also people who have a good tan so when you develop a good tan in the middle of summer it will take you much longer to produce the same vitamin D just as an illustration of this fact just think about it um, in Italy 80% of people are vitamin D deficient and if you think in Italy they get quite a bit of sun but Italians tend to tan really quickly and quite darkly so it's, it becomes quite difficult for them to, to make vitamin D and in general in the whole southern Europe there is much more vitamin D deficient than in the north that's crazy right? another reason is that vitamin D is mostly made by the torso so your arms and your legs and your face hardly make any it's all made in the torso so in your um, shoulders, in your chest, your belly, your back and honestly how many of us actually um, expose our torsos on a daily basis. I don't know how about you but I certainly don't. Only when I go to the beach but I certainly don't go to the beach every day, not even every week. So that's another reason why we don't make enough vitamin D because we mostly just expose the face which in most cases will be covered by makeup and skincare which all have sun protection so you won't be making any vitamin D and then the arms but they also don't make much so it's definitely very important to expose as much of your torso as possible and the final reason which I left for the end on purpose because in my opinion it's the most important reason and that's sunscreen most people don't leave the house unless they're completely slathered by sunscreen and they even slather their kids in sunscreen I'm very much against sunscreen, but that's just my personal opinion. Um, I totally respect your opinion. You don't have to follow mine. And of course, you know, follow your doctor's recommendations. I, I, I'm only sharing my own opinion, so I'm not responsible for your own choices. But I'll just give you the facts. If you use sunscreen, you only absorb 5% of the vitamin D that you would be absorbing otherwise if you were not using sunscreen. So think about that, 5%. So think how many hours more you would need to produce the same vitamin D. It's just mind-blowing, isn't it? That's why I don't like sunscreens. I don't think they're good inventions. I think they're horrible for the health, but that's just my opinion. So do your own research. So I hope that you enjoyed this video. That's all about vitamin D that I wanted to share today. But I'll definitely be making more videos. I'll be sharing the best um, the best ways how you can optimize your vitamin D levels and how I'm raising mine um, A little update. I've been taking vitamin D uh, for around a week now and I've been feeling phenomenal It's truly life-changing. So I'll be certainly updating you on that um, I'll also be talking about all the different ways that vitamin D can change your life because it truly can um, And I guess that will be it for now. So thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye Gossip Seafood has got lots of fat soluble vitamins which are so good for your skin, teeth, nails, hair, everything else in the body.